Wow. I have so much in that. I can't believe I have to deal with this now. It's ridiculous. Oh my. You're not getting away. I am on the wrong side of the wall for some reason. Oh! Nobody told me that gate wouldn't open. I'm so sorry. See what this game does to us. That wasn't my fault, I swear. Oh well, there's the theater here and everything. Well, I gotta go sometime. You know, this place is actually pretty different. Oh, there's a beggar here. Should I give him 25 cents? I could take his money? I don't want to do that. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. It's a cold world. The world is never fair. I don't know who I'm looking for. Oh, in here. Stick him up, cowboy. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So. How you get on? Why did everyone stop? Can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Well. Bronte? I don't know about this. Oh, back here? Fine wow. <laughs> How am I supposed to keep up with him? I have so much in that. Oh, he jumped off. What? He closed it and locked it. You're really gonna lockpick it right now? You did that pretty quickly. Ow! Fall damage. Every gamer's worst enemy. This kid won't stop. And I don't even get the point of this. Move at all, oh, you little. Oh, great! What's the problem, Fred? Right into their trap. Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Ah. <gasps> He's got a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now. Get out of here. Those kids did not treat me very nicely. And of course I can't do anything to them. They're just kids. Of course it is just a video game. Oh, sorry. Oh, didn't mean to do that. We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Oh, I totally forgot why we were searching for them. This game is pretty heavy sometimes. Oops, oops, oh my god, that was so bad, I'm so sorry. All of the homeless people ask for help. Above the gunsmith, huh? I didn't even think of that, I could totally go here. I can finally get the semi-automatic. That's popular around here. Oh, I bet, I'll get it. Why not? I might as well buy as much ammo as possible. There, I'm done. Walking around, I can tell there's a lot more BS you could do just in this city. I want to go check out more of these strangers, but I think they might just be beggars. Never mind. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> Poverty will always be with us, but slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. So, we might be dealing with the slave trade type thing. I don't know what I'm looking for. Nothing much back there. I, I'm afraid they're just a, a few old books. Oh, really? Some books? It obviously pulls out. What do you got down here? 
I don't like seeing people do this kind of thing. Is Arthur gonna do anything to the freaking storekeeper? Oh look, he's gone. Where's the monk? I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my, that's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that, they're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Santé. <laughs> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art, it's for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. Hmm. Thanks for the knowledge. So, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Eh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. And just like that, we have a new friend. Are some of these merely just for the fact of meeting new people? But I kind of like to check them out. Some of the characters are pretty hilarious. I'm here to help. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of oh, shine? It. Yes, thereabouts. One hundred gallons? Why? I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Well, it looks like I can't get that moonshine until I get back to Rhodes. I have an urge to go help the poor again, so we're gonna go talk to the monk. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's scared to the worst! Don't hurt him, please! Where'd he go? Oh, he went that way? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little sh** even worth my time. Oh, he just left and the crucifix is here? Okay, then. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, I, hey, Help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me. Officer, help. <sighs> Oh, he's coming. That was ridiculous. I really don't remember that woman, though. Damn it, really? They were right there. They really don't like me now. Well, this sucks. Running from the law is not the way to live. What is that horse doing? Why are they going across the lake? And now I have to go find her without alerting the law. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? That could have been much worse. All right. Oh, what? I can't believe I have to deal with this now. It's ridiculous. Oh my. We need to go. Oh, shit, he's f***ing down. Oh god, we're not doing well. Now let's get out of here. Sorry. Why do you have to shoot? Screw this. I'll just go start the mission. I need to avoid the cops though. Ow, that hurt. Sorry I'm late. I don't know. This place looks like Luigi's mansion. We have an appointment.
appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Kinda spooky. But if you want to start one, there's gonna be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a lot of tension just lifted. No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> Let us do your dirty work, huh? Why do I always feel like this is a setup? It feels like I hear somebody. Hey. Did you hear that? Okay, did anyone else just see that? That person disappeared. You boys found my puppies, watch it! I knew it. I want to try this semi-auto. It's so foggy. Oh really? You're not getting away. Not for me. Oh, where did he go? What? You're kidding. Ah! Wow. No. Get back down. At least we're out of that situation now. Well, you took your time. Jack, where's your host? Pa! Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Ready? Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. I guess that's a mission accomplished then, right? We got Jack. Let's go. Looks like there is hope for us, isn't there? Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.